Hello, March of the Ants backers and people who have purchased March of the Ants in the retail stores. Uh, this is the video explanation of the one box storage solution. So we know that many gamers uh, get frustrated with expansions that add more boxes to their shelf. So in this, uh, when creating this expansion, we decided we wanted to figure out how to get everything into one box for you. So what you will need for this is a pair of scissors. Uh, step one is to open your March of the Ants box and take all of the contents out. Uh, you can put them in the lid for easy storage. And then you will uh, remove this uh, insert. I've already made these cuts, but you're going to remove this insert. So you'll just lift it out like this all the way along. And like I said, I've already made the cuts here, but you can see uh, you will just cut along this face at the top um, of each of the side boxes that fold. So there's a center box, we're going to leave that intact, but then at the top here we'll just slice right along the fold line of that, removing this section here, and you will slice right along the fold line on the other. So in the end you'll end up with a piece that looks like this. It will have the uh, center structure intact with the little forms, and then it will just come to a flat edge right here, and a flat edge on the other end. You'll then take that piece of the game box, uh, the insert, and put it back in your box and slide it to one side. These parts can be discarded. Um, you will then open up your Empires of the Earth box, empty out the contents there, and you will uh, insert those into the March of the Ants box like so. So then we have uh, the two storage, we have a storage spot in the center, on the back, and then in the cards. Uh, the top part, I like to take the cards from the March of the Ants base game, put them there. In the Empires of the Earth game, we have the uh, art cards here. These are dividers, so if I want to put my March of the Ants cards and the cards from Minions of the Meadow in there, I'll put that divider in between them, so depending on which set I want to play with, I can easily choose. Oh, I'm just going to get the Minions out, or I'm going to take the whole base game. Um, and likewise, you will take the um, Empires of the Earth cards and put them in there. You may want to separate between chambers or just the base uh, cards. Um, definitely want to separate out the uh, mutations. So putting a couple of those dividers in between there. Uh, there's six uh, dividers, I believe. You can use some to divide up the uh, Minions of the Meadow because there's three or four different types of expansion modules in there, or you can just use them to decorate your house. Um, so the cards will sit in there like that. You'll then take the, uh, the hexes from the base game. These are all the hexes from the base game, and those will fit in uh, one of these containers. And you can put the hexes in like that and bring them all the way up to snug with the top there. And then you will also uh, grab the hexes from Minions of the Meadow and put them in the other side. So those are the hexes there. Um, and then it's just a matter of putting the rest of the components in here. It does get a little bit crammed, but there is room for everything. So what I like to do is take the base game components, um, the cubes and everything from the base game, and put them off to one side. Um, put everything from the base game onto one side of the, the box for easy sorting. So I now have my cards, the cubes, and the hexes, most of the hexes on that side, and then the food, the uh, wormhole tokens and such over there. So we need to get these snug down here because we're going to have the flat components. Um, this is also the, the black ants. So those will all fit in. They need a little bit of pushing to get in there, but we'll, we'll definitely fit. Um, and then in addition to that, we will get, uh, you can get the Empire, the Minions of the Meadow components, and they can sit in there, um, off to one side, and maybe put the, uh, the aphids on top of them there. Um, if you have the bonus bits, all the meeples, or you've, uh, it backed the Kickstarter from previous versions, you may have the wooden bits here of the center meeples, and a, uh, Broodmother Centipede. Those should be able to fit in this top part here. 
Uh, so you can just uh, slide them into this top part where the hexes are. Um, and then you will get the, uh, the paper, the flat pieces. So I like to take the Empire's pieces first, or the Minions of the Meadow pieces first. They're a little thinner. So those will go down here, pushing, pushing into it. And the bits there. And then you can drop the, the Great Tunnel there and the Player Aids from the base game and the score track. And finally, you'll have the uh, player nests and the rule book, which goes on top. So you can just set them in like that. Um, and the March, the Empires of the Earth rule book will fit in there as well. Just sneak it in there. So as you can see, it gets a little bit packed in there, but everything does fit. Um, and you know, you can take a little more time and probably use both your hands to organize it. Uh, the top will go on and closes down nice and snug. So that is the one box storage solution. Nice heavy box. Um, that was with the cubes. If you do have the ant meeples, those will you have will have to remove the cubes to find room for those and can sub the ant meeples in there, but they do fit. I have tested it a few times. So however you have the game set up, you should be able to get everything in this box. Um, if you do have sleeves, you may need to remove the insert for March of the Ants entirely. So you might need to take out that whole white thing get the sleeve cards in. Uh, we couldn't really account for that, getting everything in the box, but doing that, you should be able to get rid of the Minions of the Metal box and the Empire's box is inside here. So thank you so much for supporting our game. Hope you play it many times and enjoy it.